Well, good morning, my friends. Oh, it's getting colder. It's um, the 22nd of February, and uh, Thursday morning, and the forecast is not good. Next week, they tell us that our temperatures are, are going to be coming well down to about minus four at night. So, we need to take a bit of action. Now one thing you can do, in the greenhouse anyway, is uh, move your plants away from the edges. Like those spring cabbage over there, they'll, they'll be alright, but anything you've got that's a little bit tender, those chitting potatoes, I'll probably move them into the middle more and, give them, and cover them up at night. The lettuce, lettuce is looking quite nice actually, the winter lettuce. That's, that's looking good. So the lettuce will be all right. It's, it's a winter variety, Arctic lettuce, and uh, all year round lettuce, so that should be okay. The onions. Just give them a bit more protection. I think I made a mistake by putting that perlite in there. I should have put vermiculite, but I couldn't get hold of any, so I put perlite, and no, uh, that's not the right stuff to use for them, so hopefully they'll get through it, but lesson learned there. Not perlite, vermiculite. Broad beans in the root trainers, nice healthy. They actually should be going out now. They're going to be grown in containers, these. That's the only place I can grow them, and um, they're root bound now. They need to get out of these root trainers. I'll we'll get them out, I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, they need moving. Now, the grow tent. Put some tomatoes in there. There's Santini to the right. Those ones are Santini. They're the Marks and Spencer's ones we love. And these ones on the left, they uh, they are a plum tomato that's bought from Sainsbury's, and they're the ones I have for breakfast. I like them. So it's two sorts, and there, as you can see, what the grow light does. No way are those plant spindly and leggly. They're, uh, they're nice, healthy, strong plants. See this. Um, this one here is, I can't remember what that is. Um, might be um, some lettuce. This one here is, this is baby pak choy. Just coming through. some lettuce, some um, salad bowl lettuce that's called, it's just starting to show. Cucumbers down there, two salts, um, piccolo, the small lunchbox ones, and um, Carmen F1. In here, I've got some more Santini's tomatoes grown in nutrient. Now yeah, they're looking alright but I can't see no root it's coming through yet, but they're alright. They're getting true leaves now. And these are the tiny tin tomatoes. I might just get one out while it's holding the camera. Dear. Okay, these are the tiny tims that have been in this December, and um, as you can see, starting to get their flowers on now, starting to get trusses, so they're doing well. 
at their first feed yesterday. There's two of them in there. Now this um, this grow tent, what I've got, the way I've worked this is that I've got the, the LED lighting up there which has worked a lot better since I've moved it up in the air a bit. It's not burning up plants no more. And at the bottom is a propagator, DC propagator. Now it's all time, it's all on a timer. And this light is on during the daytime. And it's on for from six in the morning till nine in the evening. And that keeps the temperature in here between 18, 18 and 21. And then when this goes off at nine o'clock at night, the heated part of the propagator kicks in and that keeps it overnight at about 15 degrees in there. So, and there's the fan that's just circulating because I was getting quite a bit of condensation, but but now, now I've put the fan in, it seems to be working quite well. So yeah, that's that. Now to try and conserve a bit of heat, let's close that up, try and conserve the heat, I've got my little blue flame Vala heater and um, this uses about just under a litre of paraffin a night and it keeps the temperature around about three or four degrees in here. If it's, if it's under freezing then it keeps it about three or four degrees. Basically it keeps it about four degrees above whatever the temperature is outside. So, and um, it cost me about a pound a night to run it. So, it's quite a godsend that. The old Valor Blue Flame. Us older ones will remember those from years ago. Um, spring cabbage is doing well. And there's two pots there of carrots that I sowed. And they're starting to come through now. I might cover them tonight as well if the, if the forecast is going to be really low. So yeah, that's it. So, so yeah, if you can uh, just show a bit of caution for next week because as I say, the forecast is for um, really low temperatures and sharp frosts at night so any plants you've got in the greenhouse move them away from the outside of the greenhouse and move them in, you know to the inside area and also if you've got hard flooring like I have I've got these paving slabs in here it's a good idea if you can just to put something underneath a bit of bubble wrap or something just to stop I mean when you've got plants that are growing in soil they're getting a bit of insulation from the soil but of course when they're growing in containers the um, the roots are going to be straight onto this cold slabbing so beware okay my friends thanks for watching see you again soon now bye bye